Do you ever stop and ask yourself, excuse me, brain in my head, I don't need this next manga. I need less manga. Please stop buying manga. You never thought of that before. <laughs> well, um... Me neither. So let me show you this uh, ginormous manga haul then, which doesn't show a contradicting story. Oh, let's go. Okay, manga haul time a lot, like always, to get through. I have an extremely diverse of manga. Every manga haul, so there's something for everybody. You like shonens, shoujos, jose, seinens, any kind of thing you like. The manga sloth has got. Starting it off with the elusive Samurai. Now this is made by the person that makes Assassination Classroom and you will see for some reason it's been one through nine red. Now they're switching to white. I don't know if it's for a volume or for another nine volumes or it's in parts. I mean stuff's going on so I'm sure it means something but like I always do I read these in twos and it's much better that way in my opinion. Got I'm a Koi Fish volume nine. Imakoi number nine. This is the final volume of this so if you have been on the fence or you are ready to take the plunge now's the time nine volumes not a giant series perfect size to get into and have a great story let's go cinderella closet number four by seven c's it's been good so far that time i got reincarnated as a slime number 23 one of the better isekais out there still very popular cannot get a volume that doesn't have some kind of ding dent or rip on the top with these kodansha volumes big bumski got a horror hardcover here betwixt this is um um, Junji Ito art, I believe. And then these stories are by other mangaka. So they will have different art styles and stuff inside them. Another one here. This one has a slip cover. Look at that. That looks pretty cool. That is neat. This is Mimi's Tales of Terror. Junji Ito. And then we got the original story creators there. We have A Stepmother's Marchin. This is Volume 3, Seven Seas. These are ginormous. These are heavy. This is more weight and book than some like $30 volumes. This is full color. This is big and heavy. This, this is a lot, but that is good. Here's a new one, Kingdom of Quartz. This is printed by Kodansha. Looks nice. My wife read this, so I can't exactly remember, but I do remember the ones that she does not like, and she did not say that about this, so I believe she liked this one. And for all the Witch Hat Atelier fans, we got Witch Hat Atelier Kitchen number two. They're still going on with the Witch Hat Kitchen thing here, and a lot of people like it and say it's good, and also, if you like Witch Hat Atelier, which everyone does if you try it, I'm sure you will like this a lot also. Here's another new one. The Blue Wolves of Mibu or Maibu. I'm saying that right? Kodansha here. New series. Obviously we got some historical and some Shinsen Gumi nonsense going on with that. It was a decent volume one. Keeping on with new number ones we have, let's see if I can pronounce this, Gachiakuta? Gachiakuta? Maybe I'm saying that wrong. Probably am. This was a pretty cool volume one. It's definitely a volume that I didn't know anything about went into blind I you know this is just one of those ones where you see it on the shelf and you're like that one might be cool I'm judging the book by its cover there and it was a pretty decent volume one I'm interested about the world they're building in this uh, the world seems pretty cool I won't go into too much detail but definitely worth a try here we have the poetry of ran this is Titan manga don't have a ton of the Titan manga but this was a cool another volume one obviously judge the book by its cover here but look at this artwork and everything this was a cool volume one I liked it the world is whack and a lot of things are going on and definitely interested to see where this one goes let's not stop with volume ones let's keep them rolling brand new series here manga sloth does not just give you the same old same old jujutsu kaisen one piece by family that's the end of the haul no we got we got stuff now we have giant magical cats and old ladies a cat from our world and the forgotten witch volume one from what i was told from my wife this is a wonderful series where this cat this ginormous cat gets like izakai to this lonely lady i mean look at this giant cat this has got to be funny and just good i mean what's going on there look what's that cat doing 
I prefer dogs, obviously, because dogs are goats. That's right, dogs are a different animal. And then not stopping the volume ones, we got volume one plus four more volumes for the boxer number five. First IZE press here. This is the creator of the horizon, which is absolutely heart-wrenching awesome. And I'll be honest, I started the boxer. It's an easy read. Volume one was okay. I didn't think too much of it, but I'll tell you, it is growing on me. And now they're working a lot, a lot harder on the character development. And you're starting to actually like get a feeling for these characters and like get attached and emotional little tidbits with them and everything. It's, it's starting to get intense and while I'm not the biggest boxing fan in the real world, this is pretty, pretty dang good. Overlord number 18. Been a little while since we had one of these. This is really enjoyable. Wish these came out a little quicker. Here we have The Elden Ring Volume 2, The Road to the Erd Tree. Right now this has, the cover is too short. Might be hard to see, but the pages are past the cover and it just feels terrible. This, this volume's a little beat up, but the artwork in this is just jam-packed. Wall to wall, no empty scenes. We got just blast, blast ink in your face. Storytelling, whether you like Elden Ring or not, or you have played the Elden Ring games or not, I think people can enjoy this. Obviously, I do believe if you know anything at all about Elden Ring, you might enjoy it a little more. But as someone who doesn't know as much as the next person on the game and stuff, I'm having a good time with it. It's fun. We got Wand Dance number eight. This person is busting a move with that facial expression. It looks like that maybe they broke their back. Maybe they're bending too hard. But this is a uh, ongoing series by coffee not tea don't get it mixed up it's not by tea and number eight was good wife enjoys that here's a series that not one person likes i i don't even know if i could find one person to like this series i could pay somebody a hundred dollars just to say the sentence i like villains are destined to die and as soon as they realize what they're saying they would say no thanks and they'd run away obviously i'm joking because this series is just beloved so far i don't know of anyone Anyone who is reading this or has tried this who's not foaming at the mouth for the next volume or if it would become an anime or anything this series is bonkers it's so good please try it please try it I'm sure IZE press yen press will love if you try it you will be giving them lots more money the gold kingdom in the water kingdom really nice standalone one shot really nice definitely something if you want to read and have a full story complete beginning to end with enjoyable characters and enjoyable story and you have a good time definitely recommend gold kingdom and water kingdom for sure let's switch to a smally now we got twin star exorcist number 30. That is right. Twin Star has reached the 30s, at least in English print. Still ongoing, still black, white, black, white, black, white spines, and still good. One of the lesser known talked about Shonen Jump series, you always just see Chainsaw Man or Jujutsu Kaisen or something in the spotlight where stuff like this, stuff like this and Blue Exorcist are in many, many ways, just far superior to stuff like Jujutsu Kaisen. If only these had the quality and a better hyped up and better animes, they'd be blowing past most things. Shadow's House number six. Speaking of animes, the I watched the anime for this and it's a lot farther than number six, I'll tell you that. Um, I believe my wife said, at least right now, like in Japan, like volume 15's out, that's crazy. So there's 15 volumes, 15 plus volumes of this out. So we can all hope for things to get sped up but most likely it'll stay on the around the three a year type of deal. Yusoki Rhetoric, number five. Still going with that. Good, good. Honey Lemon Soda, number five. A lot of these um, books my wife reads, they like come in the same blob. They're like on the same printing path. Like they're 
all the fives come out, all the sixes come out, all the sevens come out. Just happened. The King's Beast, volume 12. We got a beast, and maybe that's the king. I don't know. I don't read this series. Their lips are getting pretty close there. I wonder what's happening. Nina and the Starry Bride, number two. I really like this cover. This cover looks cool. These words are popped out. This is a Kodansha one. Fresher series, decent artwork, good story. Recommend people check this out, still early on. Mashal Magic and Muscles, 15. We are, I don't know how close we are to the end, but I know the dude is going to be wrapping this up. I mean, I, I feel like it could end at 20. Last couple of volumes, and I'm assuming the next couple of volumes have just been nonstop, 100%, wall to wall, action, 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 action. So definitely a shown in there. Here we have Grimball, Grimball, Grimball. There's no B's or all's in there. Jeez, oh man, blooper reel. Whatever, I'm not editing this out. Future me is not editing <laughs> editing this out. Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash, number one, Yen Press. I am saddened by this book because it was on my TBR for a little while. I finally grabbed it and I'm like, boom, it is time to start. From what it sounds like, from what it's about, it's got a good story. It sounds right up my alley. Looking cool. But for some reason, I wanted to know how many were out. And I'm glad I looked because this series got canceled. It got canceled in the past, but still got printed in English for the couple volumes. And from what I know, it they don't wrap it up or end it. It's just canceled so volume i think it's three volumes that are out it'll end abruptly any more about this or light novels or anything so if you know anything about this series uh light novel wise or if it has an anime or anything just let me know is it good because i'm not going to put effort into this if it's just going to be canceled i have dungeon people number three with this skin colored book Looks pretty cool. This series is all right. It's basically on the verge of just being slice of life, kind of. It's about maintaining and building a dungeon. And you know, there's some other story stuff going on there. I'm gonna be honest. I liked volume one, volume two was okay. This volume was a little bit of a struggle to get through. This small volume took me, I think, three sittings just to get through. I read a third, I read a third, and I read a third. I, I just don't know. This one kind of was bouncing back and forth. I wasn't understanding who they were talk talking to or about, and it was kind of boring. Everyone reads things differently, and everyone finds certain other things boring. So maybe you will like it more than me. Next, we got My Hero Academia 36 and 37. Have not had these in my halls for a long time. And because I just just waited and I had two of them so I got two and I read them in a chunk and I'm glad I did we got some important intense battles and stuff going on uh, really really cool stuff going on with these right now so you know my hero is my hero we all know here we go spy family hype all I do is show up spy families and Jujutsu Kaisen's and that's it well here's spy family we know spy family it is good. Doomsday with my dog number four. If you want to know more about a series, just let me know down below or ask about it down below. Uh, don't get mad if I don't stop and talk about, you know, real popular series like Spy Family and stuff. I put a little more time most of the time. I got a lot of stuff here to get through, but I put a little more time into stuff like this. Things that people may not have heard of. Anyways, Doomsday with my dog. Look at, look at that. She's pinching that cute Sheba's cheek. This series is in color and hecka cute and we need more manga and stories about dogs because dogs are so great. Speaking of great, this series is great. My lovesick life as a 90s otaku and this one just has a lot of nostalgia and stuff and it's written well so two volumes in definitely check this one out peeps here we have kissing white lily for my dearest girl it's been a while and you probably don't remember but i had a haul earlier where i bought like volume 2 through 11 in a bundle for like a heck of a deal so i got my wife volume one here then we have the world's fastest level up meet the new boss pretty good pretty good series volume two early on free Ren number 10 we all know about this it's becoming a extreme love out there there is extreme love out there right now for free Ren with the anime which i am watching and is wonderful i definitely recommend reading it also because the manga is great and right now 
some cray cray things are happening. Here we go. Does anybody know what uh, Uno Piece is? One Piece had like an explosion of books that come out all at once. We have Ace's Story, the manga volume one. This is drawn by Boichi, which if you know him, he is the artist of Dr. Stone. So we got this intense, detailed artwork in here that people will love. And the action scenes really just pop with that. We have One Piece Shogeki no Sanji, if I'm saying that right. And this is drawn by the creator of Food Wars, food manga here. And this is about Sanji and cooking and stuff. This was pretty good too. And then obviously we have the series One Piece. And if you know anything about this cover, welcome to the club. Blue Box number nine. This one is still ongoing, I believe. I'm not sure how long this series is, but it is a great series to read. Oshinoko number five. That's in that like five group of all the stuff that comes out once. This, I think, oh man, I'm not even sure. This might have been, I don't know when this exactly came out, but it's been a while. So I got this volume and it was damaged and then I returned it and I think it was damaged again. I returned it again. So it took an actual while for this one to get in the house. The Apothecary Diaries number 11. Another manga that is really great and the anime is good. It definitely differs from the manga. So if you like the anime, you might like the manga maybe even more because you get a lot more stuff in here and more details and things that are skipped and or not in the anime. And I am watching the anime and my wife has read and watched it. Okay, we have Ayashimon. If I'm saying that right, number one. I just could not get into this. I think this is three volumes, if I'm not mistaken. Let me know if anybody's read this and you enjoyed it. I just, I don't know. I just I uh, just couldn't get into it. I'm, I'm not even sure why. Got easygoing territory defense in by the optimistic Lord. If you know me and you've watched my hauls, I have been, I'm just dumb sometimes. I, I'm just stuck on this like Isekai aristocrat type binge. I don't know why they're good. Uh, it's just like Isekai politics and stuff like, <laughs> like building a kingdom. I mean, obviously since there's so many out there, I mean, I'm, I can't be the only one who likes these. But I don't know why. I'm just enjoying them. It's what's wrong with me. Bride of the Barrier Master, number one. I don't know if my wife liked this volume or not, but she did read it. Got Villainous Level 99, Volume 1 and 2. I kind of like these spines. Sometimes the busy spines don't look very good, but these, these kind of look busy, but they look good. Good colors and stuff. My wife thought these were all right. She thought Volume 1 was okay. Tried Volume 2. She's just not feeling it, so this is a series that will be dropped, put in the giveaway slash sell pile. Now we got a stack of biggies. Imitation, volume two. I don't even remember volume one, but apparently we got a Yen Press full color book. Another Yen Press here, Glitch. Let me know if you have read Glitch. I wanna know what people think about Glitch. Not the hardest read, but a lot of cool stuff going on. Let me know. Here's one that came out a while ago. I have the first one of these. This is Beast Complex number two. It, th these are fine. I mean, it's hard to get like super motivated unless you like super duper love the series. Now, I really enjoyed Beastars. I had some issues with the end and how they just, you know, skip things and left plot holes and stuff. But overall, the series was good. I just, it's kind of hard to get into side stories, especially when these aren't really, you know, super pertaining to the main series or the people. We got Singumi Project number four. This was good. This was good. Flame one, two, you know, they're setting up the world. A lot of stuff's happening. They're okay. They're decent volume ones and twos. They won't blow you away. Volume three kind of gets a hold of you and goes, hey, there's a lot more to this. And then this volume kind of slaps you in the face with some world building and actually seeing what's happening to the earth and cultures and stuff. And I liked it. I liked it a lot. So volume four got me definitely pumped to read more. Volume one of gazing at the star next door 
What is this degenerate doing with his tongue? He's about to lick that girl's hair. This guy is a pervert. This is, I believe, my wife liked this volume one. Good new series. So if you are looking for a new series, right here. Boom, try it. See you in my 19th life. This is a hecker. This is a heavy boy. And I'll tell you what, I, I, I'm not sure why after reading so many, but I really appreciate the non-glossy pages. It just looks good. It adds to the art. It feels good sometimes. My wife enjoyed this volume. She was on the teeter-totter. I'm sure that a lot of us are, especially if you buy and read a lot of manga. You get a manga and you go, you know what? This was decent, but I got so much manga. I got a giant TBR. I got so many new series. I'm just going to drop it you know i said if you liked it enough and you thought it was decent just continue on get a second one because there's plenty of manga that you get and you go like this where you didn't say volume one was decent you said it was fine didn't really do anything for me let me try a second volume but then you get this and you go yo volume one was pretty decent you didn't say it was the greatest thing ever it was pretty decent but uh, maybe I'll just drop it. Nah, try volume one. There's plenty of mid manga to drop. Speaking of mid, we got Midbreaker. Number four of Windbreaker. Series is all right, not great. You know, I call it Tokyo Revengers Light. It's, you know, kid gangs and stuff, fighting and stuff. It's okay. Something that's not okay is right here. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Part six, Stone Ocean, one and two. That is right. I'm a big JoJo fan like most people on the planet and Stone Ocean is out. It's looking great. First female main character in the JoJo series. Both of these volumes to read at once because Viz is doing the wonderful thing everyone thanks them for and is printing these every two months, which is wonderful, six volumes a year. We were down to four volumes a year at every three months. We're gonna get through this and then we're gonna get on to Steel Ball Run after that. Wonderful days, wonderful days. I read these, obviously JoJo is it's just one of the best shonen ever written. It's amazing. Here we got a little stack of Yen Press, IZE Press manga. We got God Bless the Mistaken. If you've seen these before, it's because these were in a previous video. Whoever steals this book, we got Unholy Blood here. We got The Villainous and Villain Met and Fell in Love. We got Aiko and Bambi. These were given to me by Yen Press. So I'm going to be trying all these out. I have Infinite Dendogram. This is a heavy book too. This is by J Novel Club. I like J Novel Club. They, they do some good stuff. We got Wondering Witch number four. Good stuff. Mob Psycho number 13. Their covers and spines on these are great. I love these Mob Psycho spines and covers. Subaki Chow, Lonely Planet number six. Good series. Here's a heckin' one. We got the Ghost in the Shell fully completed hardcover here. Super cool nice hardcover for the collection right now get down in the comments hit that like button and let me know what you've read this month or if you've seen anything that i showed off that you would want to read and i'll see you all next time